Let's turn to the Gospel Book of Luke, Chapter 1. Gospel Book of Luke, Chapter 1. And then we'll go to Matthew, uh, Chapters 1 and 2. And then we'll go back to Luke, Chapter 2. Amen. Just to do some reading this morning, I just like to do this every Christmas season, just to read through the, the account of the birth of, of Jesus Christ and uh, just, just, just exhort us from the script here um, so that we can uh, be focused in this season. Amen? We can be focused in this season. Chapter 1 of Luke, I give there. Verse 1. Let's read from verse 5. There was, verse 5, verse 5. There was, in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. But they had no child because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. So it was that while he was serving as priest before God, in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell, and born incense went uh, when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people was praying outside at the hour of incense. Then the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of the incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled and fe fell upon, upon him. But the angel of the Lord said, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayers... Your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bring, will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, and he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb, and he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will also go forth, um, he will also go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah and turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zacharias said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is well advanced in years. And the angel answered and said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God, and was sent to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and not able to speak until the day these things take place. Because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their own time. And the people waited for Zacharias, marveled that he lingered so long in the temple. But when he came out, he could not speak to them, and they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned to them and remained speechless. So it was as soon as the, day, the days of the service were completed that he departed to his own house. Now, after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she hid herself five months, saying, Thus the Lord has dealt with me in the days when I looked, when he looked on me, to take away my reproach among people. I, I read that because, again, 
we, we, we are reminded that the, the birth of Christ was unique in that even before he was born someone else was born to announce and to herald and to to speak about his his coming are you with me i mean even before that in the in the old testament days the prophecies were given but even just before the the, the pregnancy of of mary was the pregnancy of Elizabeth because Jesus was to have a forerunner amen one who would have come before him to announce his coming just five months before amen and so his, his birth was, was unique so when we, we talk about Christmas we are speaking about a, a unique birth we, again, we, we say and we always remind ourselves because there are those even among us who have problems with Christmas because we are not sure if it was on the 25th of December. And I'm always quick to say, yes, that is true. We don't know because we can't read in the scripture anywhere that it says the 25th of December. We don't know if it was December. Hello. Hello. But what we do know is that he was born. And, and there is no denying there that Jesus was born. And, and I'm willing to, to celebrate his birth. I'm willing to celebrate the, the entrance or the advent of the Christ to, to planet earth. Because to me, that is significant because had it not been for Jesus' humanity and Jesus' coming, we would have still been using animals as a sacrifice to God to atone for our sins. And I don't have a sheep. Hello. I, I would have had to be looking and make, making sure I have because... Uh, uh, and when, when, when I sin, because we all sin. Hello, don't, don't look at me as if I'm a sinner and you are not. I'm seeing some righteous faces down there. When we sin, we, you have to find a sheep or a goat or a dove or a, 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 a bull and, and take it to the high priest. So I'm glad that he came. Oh, hallelujah. So, so Christmas to me is, 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 is about the birth of, of Christ, the coming, that first advent. And, and if it was in April, I would have been celebrating just as well. Hello. If it was in November, I, I would have been celebrating. But, but somebody decided, well, we don't know when it is. Let's, let's put aside a day, the 25th of December. Are you with me? And, and, and God in his, his wisdom um, um, decided to send a forerunner. Elizabeth and Zacharias in their old age. Hallelujah. Another unique thing about it. In their old age. <laughs> Zacharias didn't believe the angel. Uh, as, as, as any one of us would have you know, doubted, resisted. How can this be? I'm an old man. Hello. I'm an old man. And, and the angel of the Lord, Gabriel by name, identified himself as Gabriel, the angel, and is saying these things to Zacharias. This is who is coming. Amen. This is who is coming. God, Emmanuel is coming. He is not talking to Zacharias about John, Zacharias' coming son. He's talking to Zacharias, letting him know, yes, that he, Zacharias, and his wife Elizabeth are going to bring forth a son. He's going to be called John, not me. I'm John too, but not me. Uh, but, but, but he's going to bring forth his son and the son is going to be a forerunner for the Christ who is coming after John. 
Amen. Behold, you're the mute because you don't understand what I'm saying to you. Or you haven't accepted what I'm saying to you. Amen. Hallelujah. The story went, went on, goes on. Goes on, chapter um, verse 20, 26. Now in the sixth month, the, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to the city of Galilee named Nazareth. To a virgin, betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. When she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. The angel said, he will be great. He will be called the son of the highest. The highest there is a capital H, which means there is only one highest. The son of God. Amen. And the Lord will give him the throne, the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end when we celebrate the birth of Christ we are not celebrating the birth of Scarlet hello or, or, or whoever else you hold in high esteem hello there might be somebody that you hold in, in high esteem and, 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 and you want to, 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 to throw a, a big party because you love that person so much and there are many gifts. You invite your friends and uh, you, 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 you're having this function in, in celebration of the birth of this person. Well, Jesus the Christ is more important that, than that person. Jesus the Christ is to be held in higher esteem than whoever it is. And I know in Dominica we love our birthday parties. Hello. We love the, 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 the coming together and the gifts and all of that. We, we observe and we celebrate our entrance into this world. Hello. Well, well Jesus came. And, and when we say Jesus, we are speaking about Emmanuel. Hello. We are speaking about Emmanuel. The, the angel said, he will be great. Oh, glory be to God. The son of the highest. The Lord God, he will give it a throne, the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of David forever. And of his kingdom, there is no end. Jesus is a king that cannot lose an election. Oh, hallelujah. And that was destined by God the Father. Oh hallelujah. You see, you see, we 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 have kings and prime ministers and presidents in the world today and they serve for a time. No matter how good they are, they can only serve for a time. Oh hallelujah. Five years, ten years, fifteen years, twenty years, but eventually they have to go. How many of you thought that Castro would have been there to this day? Well, he is not there anymore. Hello? Castro is not there. He's dead. 
I wonder if you're following me. We, he, he, whoever they are, no matter how good they are, we might want them to stay there a little longer, but, but they have to go. But Jesus of his kingdom, he is the king of his kingdom forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. He is the king. No one can take his crown. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. He don't need a second. He don't need an election. God says he is king of kings and he is lord of lords and of his kingdom. There is no end. And it is his birth we celebrate at Christmas time. Hello. The king of kings, of his kingdom, there will be no end. No end. We are speaking of the Emmanuel. Mary said to the angel, verse 34, How can this be? Since I do not know a man. Oh, unique. How can this be since I... Do not know a man. The angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest. The power of God will overshadow you. Therefore, also the, that Holy One. That Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. This holy one will be called the son of God. You don't need a man in this case. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are trying all kinds of things today. Artificial insimilation and all kinds of concoction and all kinds of scientific uh, uh, put together to, 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 to bring life into this world today. All kinds of things they are trying. Cloning and all of that. But only God could give life. I say only God could give life. And he can give it. He can, he can create man from the dust of the ground. Oh, I, I wonder if you're hearing me this morning. I say as only God can stoop to the ground, take up some dirt from the ground and make man. Only God can cut a man and pull a rib and make a woman. Doctor, you can't do that. Sorry. You can't do that. Only God, hallelujah, can, can, can just, just have Mary there and, and place in her womb a fetus. No sex involved. Hello. The spirit engaged to Joseph before they came together she was found with child mm. of the Holy Spirit hello don't, don't go scandalize the woman at all don't go gossip and malpally the woman hello glory be to God the Bible says that she was found with child not by Jim she didn't sleep with Jim. Hello. But she was found with child even before she was married to Joseph officially of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, um, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was mindful to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. I emphasize that again. That which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She did not sleep with Jim. She did not go with the next door neighbor. Hello. No. She wasn't unfaithful to you. Good. All right. So the scripture is clear. So 
Do not be afraid to take her as your wife. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She shall bring forth a son and you shall call his name Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. The one whose birth we celebrate is the one who brings salvation, Jesus, Savior. The one who brought salvation because while we were in our sins, we were heading to hell. Hello. While we were in our sin, it was a show passage to hell. Because the wages of sin is eternal death. That's, that's the penalty for, for sin. So that's where we were heading. We needed a savior. And goats and bulls could not do it. Hello. So the, the one whose birth we are celebrating this, this season is, is the one who brought salvation. That's what his name means. Jesus. Savior. This is the one that is coming into this world. We do not know if it is the 25th of December or the 25th of September. Hello. But what we do know, he is coming into this world, Joseph, and he will save. Glory. Oh, hallelujah. He will save all oh, his people from their sins. If you're still in your sin today, it's because you want to be there. Oh, let me repeat that again. If you're still in your sin today, if you're still practicing sin, if every day, hallelujah, from Monday to Saturday maybe, because I know Sunday is a holiday. We don't sin on Sunday. We come to church on Sunday, we praise our God. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, these days we, we, we don't, don't do so much on, on Sunday night anymore. But, but uh, and that's a mistake probably that we have made. So maybe half this Sunday then. Hello. But, but, but if we are still going through the days of the week uh, and sinning, uh, it's because we want to be there. Because now uh, there is a way to stop sinning. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because Jesus came to save us from our sins. So if lying had a hold on you, Jesus came to break the hands of lying. The trains of lying. If fornication had a hold on you, Jesus came to break the back of fornication. If, 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 if stealing had a hold on you, whatever it is that had a hold on you, that is sin. When Jesus came, he came to save you from your sins. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. He came to save us from our sins. Verse 22, so all this was done. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, translated God with us. And Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took to him his wife, and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Call his name Jesus. Jesus was born into this world. Emmanuel was born into this world. God with us. So, so we have to take a, a step back, I believe, the season and, and consider whose birth we are celebrating. We, the, the, the society is, is changing. The way we observe Christmas is changing and, and changing, in my opinion, too rapidly. 
I am now hearing um, sex and, and back and all, all over the place on Christmas Day. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know if you, 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 you turn on your radio these days and, and, and it's like, it's like, it, it's, it's carnival. Huh? I always say, look, why, why is it that we have carnival so close to Christmas? That need to change. Because if we are a Christian people, if we are a Christian society, if we are a Christian nation, and, and we believe in the first advent of Jesus Christ, we even have a calendar, calendar day to observe his birth, then, then let's do it properly. And I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not speaking to, to government alone, I'm speaking to you and you and you Christians, because sometimes we get wrapped up in the same nonsense. We too join in the fete. We too join in the carnival. And instead of playing some good Christian music, hallelujah, we, we are in the soccer and the party spirit. At Christmas, I don't know, uh, we, uh, I have to commend us for being here this morning, but, but, but traditionally in the last few years we have observed a dip in attendance at Christmas time. You look good this morning. Put your, put your hands together for yourself. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But, 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 but we have seen it that, that over the years, it is at Christmas time that people decide uh, I have to stay home to clean house. It's, it's, we have our, our psychology mix up. If we are observing the birth of Christ, huh, why are we moving away from him? You leave in church to clean house? You, you fail into worship the one whose birth we, we are celebrating uh, uh, to, to go to some party somewhere, to go shopping. So we, uh, we, 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 we get carried away with the shopping, with the decoration. Uh, and, and we forget the Christ of the Christmas whose birth we are celebrating and, and it's about the, the eats and the decorations and the, the, the shopping and all of that and we have forgotten, glory to God, the values of giving and caring that we used to uphold so strongly uh, some years ago each other's cake Ah, but, 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 but that has come to an end. How do we observe, how do we celebrate the birth of Emmanuel, the Savior? I, I would want to think we would think of some righteous ways. Because we are celebrating the birth of a righteous man. I would want to think that we would think of some holy ways. Hello, that we would ensure that, that what we spend time with him is a time to go deeper with him. It's a time to spend more time in prayer. It is it's a time to, to, to show a greater level of love for, for others because we are celebrating the birth of, 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 of Jesus the Christ, the one who is love, our first love. is the one that whose birth we are celebrating. Quickly, let's go back to, uh, let's, let's go on to Matthew chapter 2. Matthew chapter 2. Verse 1. Now after Jesus is born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, where is he who is born 
king of the Jews, for we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. And the Herod the king heard this and was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, uh, are not the, the least among the rulers of Judah. Judah, For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined, determined um, from them what time they shall appear. And he said, send them to Bethlehem and said, go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. <laughs> when they heard the king, they departed and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the, the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another even before he was born, they wanted to kill him. Herod wanted to kill him. Because Herod knew of the prophecies that he will be king. So he wanted to stop him before he became king. Hello. And, then, and he wanted to, he, 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 he devised a smart way pretended like he was a worshipper. Mm -hmm. Where do you find him? Bring back word to me so that I can, I too can come and worship him. Maybe I will bring some gold and some frankincense and some myrrh. Hello. I too will come and worship him. But we know now that his intention was to kill him. You can't kill the Christ. Amen. I say you can't kill the Christ, the anointed. Hello. Glory be to God. We are, we, we are dealing with God. Jesus said, look, he, 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 he wasn't laid down. He lay his life down. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, 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 so Herod wanted to, to take his life, but God protected him. Wise men were wise. Herod could not fool them. I say Herod could not fool them. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He was, they were wise, so they did not return to Herod. Let's go finally to Luke chapter 2. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 2 from verse 1. Came to pass in those days that decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census first took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, and to the city of David which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house of the lineage of David to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was um, that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him, wrapped him in swaddling cloth and laid him in a manger because because there was no room for them in the inn. Mm -hmm. There was no room for them in the inn. 
Now they were in the same country shepherds, living out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloth, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was, the, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and enough, peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and enough, peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into the heavens that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe laying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this Christ. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned glorifying God, praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the house. The king is born. The king is here. He is with us. He wasn't born in a fancy hospital. Hello, with doctors and nurses surrounding, surrounding him. Hello. He was born in, 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 in a place that was very, very humble, very, very, very low. Nowhere, no, none of us would want our, our child or children to, to be born in that place. Nowhere fancy. No, no great uh, instruments there just in case the pregnancy wasn't a natural delivery and you had to do C-section and all of that. Hello. None of that, but 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 God was in control. God was in control because uh, that even back there in, in, in Genesis it was prophesied. He will boss your head, Satan. You may bruise his heel, but he will boss your head, Satan. Hello. That was prophesied a long time ago. So Jesus had to come to bore Satan's head. Hello. Hallelujah. And, and Satan may be in the world today, but not for, for, for long. Even Satan, time will come to an end. Ah, the one whose birth we celebrate, he is the Christ. And one day he will tie up Satan. The Bible tells us that Satan would be bound. Oh, he played big and bad with his too long fork teeth. Huh? He played big and bad uh, trying to get us to sin against our God with all kinds of temptation. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. He getting so many to follow him. But one day, Jesus the Christ, the King of glory, shall step in uh, and Satan will be bound. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that hell was created for Satan. And Satan will be bound in hell forever and ever and ever. The Bible tells us there will be a new heaven and a new earth. Hallelujah. And so while I'm roaming heaven and roaming earth, there will be no devil. No one whispering in my ears about sinning. 
Oh, glory be to God. All because of Jesus the Christ, the Emmanuel that was born over 2,000 years ago, that came to planet Earth and did so many wonderful things. This was a holy one, one that did nothing wrong. Nothing. Hallelujah. It is his birthday. We observe. We, we celebrate at Christmas time. Hallelujah. And so we must do it in the right way. Right way. Dress up if you want to dress up. Decorate if you want to decorate. Put up your Christmas tree if you want to put up your Christmas tree. Make sure you have some good boiled uh, boil ham. Because I, I, I still visit. I still visit, so you know, when I come, I want. Okay, good. <laughs> Gomez, make sure you have that there. Yeah, do all, I'm not saying not to do all of those, but don't tell me that you don't have time for God. Don't tell me you 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 come to church and you can't lift your hand and, and worship the King of Kings. Don't tell me that Jesus nowhere in your mind at Christmas time. Uh, all you all you studying is parang. Uh, parang is more Trinidad. The Dominican is Buya, and 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 what? Cadence and all of that. Huh? And, and that's all we studied at, at, at Christmas time. At Christmas time. And we the Christians, I, 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 it, it, it bothers me that we the Christians get sucked into the world. And we do the same things as the world. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, the Bible says a little wine. A little wine is a little. Why are you stocking off your shells with whiskey and kubuli and all of that? I'm speaking about the Christians. We, you, 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 you have a, a Christmas time, you have a full shelf of liquor. And you say, Pastor, that is for when the boys pass by, not me. So you promoting junk, drunkenness. Hello. That is when the boys pass by. <laughs> Can't fool me now. Hello. Ah. A, a little is okay. A little. But sometimes we, we focus on those things because that is what Christmas means to me. Hello. That is what Christmas means to you. But, but that is not what Christmas is all about. We have it wrong. We have it so wrong. And that is why the Bible says, look, on the day, remember, we must keep in mind there is a day coming when we will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. We will stand before him. And as much as we attended church, we will hear, I don't know you. Because as we keep telling you, I don't know if we hear it, but as we keep saying, coming to church does not mean you are saved. Giving of tithes and offering does not mean you are destined for heaven. How when you come before Jesus and he asks you, how did you observe? How did you celebrate your last Christmas? And you say, well, party and huh? rum and huh? even if you try to hide it, you can't hide it from God. He is God. Hello. Hello. You can get drunk and, and, and come to church the following Sunday and look all pious. Hello. And, 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 and Pastor John might be fooled, but we can't fool God. We can't fool God. That is why when we stand before him, he, he, he knows everything about us. 
so he know who belonged to him. Uh, that is why he said to the apostles, you don't bother to take the, the wheat from the tears. I will do that when I come. When I come, I will pull out the bad from the goat. Uh, I will separate the sheep from the goats. Uh, I know who belonged to me. You can't fool God. So this morning, I just thought I would remind us what Christmas is all about. What Christmas is all about. It's about Jesus. Let's observe. Let's, let's know that we are celebrated. We are observing the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, the righteous one, King of kings and Lord of lords. Spend some time appreciating him. Spend time uh, uh, I'm celebrating him and his coming. And remember, he may not be here now physically, but he is coming back. Oh, hallelujah. Just as he came the first time, he is coming back. The apostles stood gazing up into heaven. They, 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 they were told the same Jesus that you saw. This ascending up into heaven. He will return in the same or similar manner. He is coming back. Some of us are still gazing. Oh, as if we don't know. We, we hear this thing preached ever so often, but we are still gazing. We still like we don't know ourselves. But the same Jesus that was here. He showed Thomas the nail scar in the palm of his hand. That's me. That same Jesus is coming back. He's coming back. Let's, let's, let's do Christmas well. Amen. I say let's do Christmas well. Not because I was born on the same day. <laughs> Hello. But because he came into this world. He came into this world. He was born. We must observe and celebrate it properly. In glory and honor to his name. The shepherd returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that we had heard and seen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and enough peace, goodwill towards men. Father, we thank you for reminding us today that you sent your son, your only begotten son into this world, Jesus. King of kings and Lord of lords. The one whose, of whose kingdom there is no end. Thank you for sending Jesus. God forgive us. God Lord for not observing, not celebrating properly his birth. God Lord I pray that we would get it right this year. We would get it right this year. And we would celebrate properly. Righteously, holy, oh precious Savior, oh God, Lord, forgive us. And I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, we do everything within our power to ensure that your name be glorified in everything that we do, in everything that we see, in how we conduct ourselves. Be glorified, be glorified, be glorified, oh God, in Jesus' name, amen. And Amen. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. God is good. I say God is good. Amen. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We have a baby to present to the Lord this morning. Could you come? Family, parents, godparents, with the baby, could you come at this time? Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Lord Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. We always like to explain to parents and God parents that the act of dedication is a serious act in which you are saying, I believe in God and I want this child to grow up to know the Lord. Amen. And that is your commitment. That is your promise to God. In that you are saying that you are giving this child back to the Lord. Amen. Because you want this child to grow up in the fear and admonition of God. You want this child to come into a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So you have the responsibility to be evangelists in the life of this child. Amen. That's your primary responsibility. All the other things are secondary. Amen. Make sure you get some money, your godparents. And buy some nice clothes. And now it's Christmas, nice toys and... And, and whatever else the baby needs. Amen? Spend some time with the mother and the father and, and help them to care for the child physically. Amen? Help them in the discipline of the child too. That's another thing we have moved away from. Amen? That we, we feel these days is only the parents responsible to discipline our children. Amen? I was disciplined by the whole community where I grew up. Amen? I'm better for it. Okay, so you, you have that, those, those other roles to play. But make sure you tell this child about Jesus. Amen? Read the Bible with, with her. Amen? Um, pray and, and these things. So, so this is your promise as you, as, in, in, as you say you are dedicating this child to the Lord. You're saying, God, take my child. She's yours. Amen? Amen. Praise be to the name of the Lord. So I'm going to take this child into my hand. I'm going to ask the congregation to stand. The mother would pronounce the names for us. Amen. Tell us the baby's names. And then we'll get right into the act of dedication. Maya Araya Siana Francis. Amen. So we're going to dedicate to the glory of Maya to the Lord at this time. Just, just join us in prayer. Christian parents, stretch your hands forward as we dedicate the glory of Maya to the Lord. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for Maya. We thank you, O oh God, Lord, that you are already with her. We thank you that your powerful hands, O oh God, Lord, have brought her into this world. We pray, Father, even now in the name of Jesus Christ, that you take her, you receive her, O oh God, Lord. Even as we dedicate her to you, we dedicate her to you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We pray, Father, God, Lord, that you would have your way in her life as she grow. We pray that she would grow to come to, to know you, to have a relationship with you. We pray, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would do a wonderful work, molding and shaping and breaking and molding her life, O oh God. That she would be protected, O oh God, protected from dangers, protected from harm, protected from evil, O oh God. We pray that you would be her provider, provide, O oh God, food, clothing, water, all that she needs for life, O oh God. We pray that you would provide in the name of Jesus Christ. Open up the windows of heaven and pour out your blessings upon this life, mighty God. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would grow academically. Oh, God, you would excel at every level. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, God, that, Lord, you would become somebody of worth, somebody of significance, somebody, oh, God, who would be able to make a contribution to nation. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, oh, God, Lord, that you would give her the type of mind. Oh, God, surround her the right people, oh, God. Oh, God, place her in the right environment, oh, God, that she would do exceedingly well oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that your Holy Spirit will surrender. You will send your angels to be with her, oh God. Oh, Father, in her going out and in her coming in. Oh God, we pray, Father, that, oh God, your very presence would walk with her. Your glory would be upon her. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you speak of you every time she open her mouth. Oh God, Lord, she would represent your kingdom. Oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus, she would carry the light 
gate of heaven. Oh God, wherever she would go, we pray God for perfect health in the name of Jesus. Uh, that no sickness, no disease would be able to overcome or overtake her in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray, Father, that your mighty hands would be upon her. Oh God, we present her to you today. We dedicate her to you today. She is yours, oh God. Her parents present her to you. We present her to you today. We bless her, oh God. Bless her and keep her. Cause your face to shine upon her. Lift up the glorious light of your countenance upon her. Be gracious unto her. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Father, we pray for the parents and the godparents of God that they would be able to perform their duties, their roles in the life of the Ramaya. Oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you, oh God, Lord, would, would provide for them. You give them, oh God, the grace, oh God, the strength that they need. Oh God, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, God, that you, Father God, Lord, would shine in their hearts also, that they too will have a relationship with you. Oh, precious Savior, we pray, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would hold their hands and you would guide them, Father. I pray, God, that they would not resist or resist you. They would not refuse you. But, oh God, they would embrace you and your love, oh God, so that they can be um, good parents and good godparents in the life of this child. And so, God, Lord, we place them in your care. And we ask you to have your own way in their lives as well. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless